Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to Subnautica. So, we are... Well, actually, what episode number is this? Is that episode 44, I think it is? My god, we are really making some progress now, and I think we may not, in fact, be really all that far off the end point of the game. So we need to make some of this Enzyme 42. We've got those um, little icons that you see up there in the top right on the UI for things that we need to gather. Now, special thanks, of course, to people who've been leaving comments, hints and tips about what I need to do, especially on the last episode. So I'm recording this episode in the evening uh, after I actually released the uh, previous episode just earlier today there's bonus content on the channel already getting comments people um, you know giving me clues things like that so I think what we need to do uh, in this episode is actually head back to the portal by the um, well by the moon pool of the well I think it was the moon pool wasn't it of the uh, large base where the gun is because we need to go back through there and um, actually go to the other portals because apparently quite a few of the samples can literally just be found through some of those portals. So you don't actually need to go that far, basically, ladies and gentlemen, in order for me to actually... Well, I don't need to go far in order to find what I need. So we're going to do that. It's going to be great. Uh, we're going to hopefully get all the stuff that we need. Let me just down the hatch with some lantern fruits to keep my vitals up. Now, obviously, um, something that uh, people have asked, would I potentially build a new prawn suit? Um, honestly? Don't know. Maybe? Let me just go um, back up to my mobile vehicle bay, and let me just have a look at what um, well, basically what what did a prawn actually need again? There it is. It's over there. Because the thing is, if if it's not too much trouble, maybe I could just make a replacement then again, I could always try to do that off camera. But the thing is, I don't know. Will I, will I need necessarily to make another one? I mean, those are all pretty, well, reasonably straightforward to make. Aerogel, enamel glass. I don't know. I don't know if we need. Are we going to need another um, friggin' what do we call it though? That's the question. I don't know if we will necessarily. What I probably should also do, actually, is create a beacon and put it by the portal. Um, the large portal, that is. Because the problem is, if I was to remake Prawn McCartney, I would also need to remake all the modules that I built for him, and I just don't know if I can be bothered. Because the amount of work that's going to take, just resources and things like that, is going to be a bit of a pain. Alright, um, I need the fabricator, what am I doing? So I'm just thinking, yeah, I, I would probably benefit from... Um, putting a beacon, which is really easy to make, uh, down by where that portal is um, that we came through from the alien containment facility. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're not going to take John Lemon for this because the problem with that portal is it's actually very, very close to where the Reaper fish are. I kind of don't want to be leaving John Lemon. Actually, I haven't said that. Well, no, we could literally just pilot John Lemon through the portal. No, 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 we couldn't, could we? Because actually he's beyond John Lemon's depth anyway. Right, so we are going to swim our way over. Like a mad lad. Um, assuming I remember the fucking direction it's in. It's off over this way. Basically, we just got to go off over here, ladies and gents. We have uh, spare batteries, of course, so we should be okay. As long as I can just find the um, portal again. I'm just going to head straight back on him going to crack on. So I don't know where the four other portals in the um, in, 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 in the, in the uh, alien containment facility, I don't know necessarily where those come out, but I'm willing to explore. Because the thing is, we've learned that basically the portals are not one way. I don't know why I thought they would be. I guess I was just... I've probably explained in replies to people's comments, but I think in essence... I was worried about them potentially being one way in the sense that I would step through and they would immediately close up. And I think that's just because I'm sort of... I've been doing so well in this game that I'm just paranoid of losing progress. I'm just worried, for example, that I would step through a portal after I've basically parked Gorge Harrison... Parked old Gorge Harrison up elsewhere. Left him down in the lava zone. I don't want to be potentially like, having to appear somewhere else, not be able to get back to 
the containment facility and then find myself in a situation where I basically have to create another submersible or something. Because that would be a pain. Now I think, yeah, I think I'm going in the right direction. Obviously this is uh, going to be a bit of a long trip, but we'll get there, don't you worry folks. I'm glad of course in the meantime that people are enjoying the series. And I am, um, you know, really sort of invested now, because like, like I say, I think I'm really on kind of the home stretch. So basically, we get this enzyme created, I guess we then inject it into ourselves. That'll clear up our infection. We can then go to the gun platform, disable the quarantine. Then I think from there, it's just building the Neptune rocket, or whatever it's called. The one that you saw for a moment on that mobile vehicle bay. Right, we're getting up close now, that's good. Uh, what I need to do though is try and locate the thingy bobber, the old base that we saw, and hopefully don't get killed by reaper fish either. I should be keeping my eyes peeled. Yikes, this is very deep water. This is probably inviting all kinds of trouble. Oh, I hear you. Wherever you're at, I see you, Mr. Warper. Old warpy boy. Old El Warper. Gorchhausen's right down there, apparently. <laughs> it is a bit ominous, you know. When you look down and it's so freaking deep. Oh, hi, down there. Are you near the portal? Kind of hope that you're not. Oh, God. See, this is why I don't want to bring John Lemon over here. Because I'm just afraid that he might get nibbled on. And then I'll end up losing not just Paul McCartney, but also my other vehicle. Which is not what I want. Okay, you probably have seen me. You probably know I'm here. In which case, you probably need to be a bit careful. Alright, we're close to the platform. Let's um, stay out of the water for the moment. Just need to find where that bloody portal was. And of course, it's evening now, meaning it's going to be dark very, very soon. I could not have picked a better time to do this. In fact, it's probably an easy way to do this, actually, if I just go through the base. Ow. That hurt. I broke my ankles. Alright, force wheel control. God, it's been a while since we went in here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I need to try and remember the route to the moon pool area of this complex. It'll be down. Down, down. Uh, this way, yes. This way, this way, this way, this way, I think. Is this the way? Aha. Yes, it does go further on. Um, now this brings one out into this area, which I think is the right way. I believe so, anyway. Aha. Yes, this must be it. Take me down, boy! Cheers! You can hear me gulping tea in the background while I'm at it. Alright. Feels, you know, incredible though, the sort of journey I've been on with this game, how, you know, how much we've done and all that. Right, so is the portal basically just sort of out the other end of the moon pool? I feel like it probably was, right? Aha! It's right there. <laughs> it's very dark coming out of here. Right, hold on. Or anything else. Let me just, um go up to the top up here, and let me just um, do... where is it? Where's my beacon? There it is. Put that on number four. Oop, shit. Wrong button. Uh, I'll keep the old stasis rifle out for the moment. You know, there's a part of me that's wondering if I should uh, try and do something crazy. And see if I can use the... Um, what do you call it? Stasis rifle to freeze a reaper fish in place and then try and scan it. But that's probably being real dangerous, that. Alright. Oh, I hear him. I don't fucking see him, though. Uh, can I fucking just do this? Uh, portal to containment, that's what we'll call it. Because we don't want to um, spend too long thinking of a name for that thing. Well, at least that's there, though. So if ever, you know, when I come back through, if ever I need to come back again, I should be able to find it very easily. Alright. Slowly but surely. Hmm. There we are. How you doing up there, big girl? Big lady? Uh, right, what I need to do is 
actually go through the trenches in this area again because I think one of the things that we actually needed was literally in this area. Uh, actually, I've still got plenty of um, oxygen. Probably just have a look around, couldn't I? Find trenches or caves. Uh, there should be some around here. I'm sure we saw at least one of the things that we needed in this area. Look at all these. Oh, I thought they were things I could maybe chip away for resources, but apparently not. Um, caves. Alright. Actually, I can always just use these things, can't I? Just to get my hands on some more oxygen. That's better. Give me more, please. That's better. These are so handy to actually have, just knocking around, you know? Oxygen, please. Thank you. Brain coral, that's what they're called. Before I forget. Um, caves, caves, caves. The caves. There was one around here somewhere, I just can't freaking remember where it was. Ah, this might be it. Was it a sea crown that's somewhere down in here? In one of these? Ah, what was that? That was Rouge Cradle, that's not it. Um, sea crown. It's this one, right? We need a seed, I do think, for it. Let me just have a look on blueprints. Um, sea crown seed. So I'm guessing we do this. Alright, that's one. Got one of those bad boys. There we go. So that was, that's that one dealt with. So the other four, I think, based on comments people have left, and assuming I've sort of interpreted the clues correctly, I think the other four should be able to be acquired if we backtrack into the main facility and go through the four portals that we all activated. So, um, we'll have a look. Uh, can I get out of the water? Oh, can I get out this side? Oh shit, I can't get out. Can I not? Oh no, I can. I can. Oh. Still got the weird water effects. Is that supposed to be right? Am I supposed to be able to get out here? Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What I need to do is this. You take a run up like this and then leap out the water like a little... Oh. Leap out the water like a dolphin. Hold up, hold up. We can do this, we can do this. <laughs> oh, come on. Get up there. Come on, you got up there a moment ago. You don't get up there now. <laughs> oh, we, there we are. Okay, it's weird how it still had the bubble effect there, but that's fine. Alright, this way, please. We need to find our way back. Oh, here's the ramp. Where's the main ramp? The way up? I don't know what the deal with that portal is. Or how you get to it. It's just very peculiar, that's all. Okay. We're on the right track, though. That's the important thing. Okay, so we're coming back into the main chamber. Like so. And I think... Oh, God. Watch out for you guys. Um, it's basically all the diagonal gate uh, doors, isn't it? That lead to the portals. Now, I notice I'm nearly down to half thirst. That's fine, because um, I have freaking water on me. All right, this thing out in case I need it. All right, where does this one take us? Let's have a little looky. A little looksy out here. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I wonder if we could get this game finished before we hit episode 50. I feel like that might be possible if we just, you know, knuckle down, concentrate, really focus on what we're here to do. Ooh, where the fuck am I? Right, so what am I looking for here? I'm looking for eye stalk, fungal, ghost weed, seed, bull bush sample. Oh, there's no uh, friggin' water in here, interestingly. I wonder if it'll go out into the water anywhere. Hmm. Hello, hello, hello. I guess we just follow the path. See where it leads. What are these things? Can't do anything with them. Oh, that's fine. So where does this come out? I wonder if this comes back out into the water somewhere. I saw the brine pools. Is this the Lost River that we're in? Possibly. Oh god, was that? Oh no. I thought it was one of those giant ghost fish things. Alright, so what are we looking for in here? That's the question. Just gotta look for something. Don't you? No, you don't. You bugger. Be reasonable. I hope that the thing I'm looking for here isn't in the brine. Hey, is he attacking the fucking ray? Sounds like he is. Leave that ray alone, okay? He's not done anything to you. Right, I don't know. 
I was almost like tempted for a second to start trying to harvest resources, but there's literally no point in doing that, considering that uh, I have what I need. I don't need them. Oh god, alright. Well, you're over there. You're not friendly, are you? Okay, I need to try and remember. It was over in this corner. So, do you see anything down there that looks... No. It's something we would want to collect? Fucking hell! Oh god, are you coming for me? Oh, he coming for me! Oh, he coming for me! Shit. This is probably why I needed a fucking prawn, or a vehicle, isn't it? That's not good. That's not good at all. Are you still behind me? No, you're not. I managed to shake you off, thank god. Alright, let's try looking in a different direction, then. Maybe keep the old sea glide out. Fuck that guy. He's a bit of a weirdo. He's a right fucking freak, isn't he? Alright. Ooh, that's Ruby. That's not what we need. Keep eye out for big boy. He's not there, what's that? Oh, Ghostweed, is that not something we need? Please don't sneak up on me. Yeah. Ghostweed, we need Ghostweed. We need, we do. We need seed of it. Alright, there's another thing. Right, that's one of them. Good, go. Fuck it, oh, <laughs> look who's making a beeline. He was like, are you trying my Ghostweeds, bitch? I'm not too keen on that. Hey, hey, I got a tree between me and you. Oh, what are you doing? You can't get me. Don't even try. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, you freak. Hold on. Can I do this? Oh my god, I can. Ghost Leviathan Juvenile. Well, this is definitely ugh, a very risky way of getting information. But you know what? It's fine by me. Go. Just fucking run while he's turned around. Hold on. Go, 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 go. Over here, over here, over here, over here. It's behind the friggin' fall. I see the portal, door, whatever you want to call it. Ah, you can't get me, bitch! Too quick for you. Alright, let me just celebrate by drinking some water. There we go. I could probably also uh, read those entries that I just got. Good night. Databank grows exclusively in deep waters where its pale pigmentation is visible on the fewest wavelengths. Ghostweed. Bloodvine is inexploitable, apparently. I guess I just never read that. The species of kelp grows in sparse copses deep on the ocean floor and provides shelter for an array of distinct fauna and megafauna. Survival at these depths is challenging, and the life forms which make their homes here have developed unusual coping mechanisms, including a bleaching of skin pigment, dependency on naturally occurring metals and oils to adjust to temperature and pressure, and in some cases even electrical defence mechanisms. The vibrant red oils which seep from the blood vine coagulate into semi-hard pustules, which frequently fall loose and form a vital foodstuff for the local ecosystem, or otherwise reabsorbed into the ground over time. What was under the coral? Again, tree mushrooms? Okay. Analysis of these large organic structures reveals a microcosm of cooperating, cohabiting, and competing life forms. Main trunk is a species of coral, some colonies up to 50,000 years old. Caps which line it share more in common with earth fungi. Other organisms grow on the structure wherever there is space and light. Surrounding waters are dense with herbivorous life forms in the 1mm to 10mm range, to the extent that larger herbivores appear to have mostly abandoned the area. Assessment exploitable. You know, I've got about 37 friggin' fauna entries, as you just saw them. And what I'm thinking is. When we eventually get to a point where we're about to, I don't know, try and escape from this planet, I guess, maybe we'll uh, have an episode where we literally just read all of the entries that I um, haven't yet read. We just have a reading episode, maybe? Because let's be honest, 37 entries probably will take a good chunk of an episode, I would think. Perhaps. Right, well, at least we've got two out of, um, two out of the five. So now we just uh, keep going around. Whoa, good lord. I might have to uh, cook and eat some fish as well while we're at it. Just to keep my hunger from getting out of control. Right, should be this door over here. Hey, Gorge, you doing alright over there? The fact your waypoint's still there is good. It means you haven't been freaking destroyed by the bloody dragonfish. Yeah, I still am very much of the opinion that it was a glitch that took out Prawn. Because he should have been protected with inside Gorge Harrison. I don't see how it is possible for the sea dragon thing to have killed Prawn whilst leaving Gorge completely untouched. It just seems very strange to me. Right, where the foo? The foo are we now? Um, right, so what, what do we have as remaining things? We had fungal, eye stalk, seed, bull bush. Alright, so look for fungal, bull bush, or eye stalk. What were these things again? Those are pink caps. And those are speckled rattlers. 
Are we on one of the islands here? Oh. I see the crabs knock yeah, Jesus. Crabs knocking around. Um more pink caps. Where do we want to go here? Do we just want to follow these lights? Back out. Uh, that's nothing. Spickle Rattler. Alright, just follow these things. Because it'll probably show you the easy way out. I'm just gonna get this out and kiss this mother mm, he's trying for it. Right. He tried it on, but he didn't manage it. Aha! Right, where are we? What is this? Ooh. Oh. Oh, this area. Oh. What's this? No, nope, that's not it. Something down here, maybe? Huh. It's lithium. Is that what I need over there? Because that looks similar to one of the icons. I stalk. Yeah, we need a seed. Got it. That was easy. That was a quickie. Quickie little one. Just for us. How many fish around here I could quickly eat? I'll just gonna get, get my knife out and kill a couple of you and eat ya. Oi, who fish? Come here. Oi, ay, 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 gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Oi, I see you up there. And you. Massing around, probably eyeing me up. Thinking, oh, that's a tasty looking treat. Not today, friend, because I can go in here. Right, eat. There we go. Hey! How the fuck did you get in here? That feels like a glitch. Then again, we've seen this kind of thing a couple of times before, with fish getting into areas where they're not supposed to be. It's like a meme thing that you could be doing online, that. You know, setting up a subreddit. Fish in places where fish are not supposed to be. Ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it like a soot house video that's a bit like that, except it's not fish, it's, it's beans. Baked beans in places where beans are not meant to be. Sorry, I'm making very specific references now, but... That's how I make conversation in these videos sometimes. I make specific references. Talk from, uh, talk about them for all of about 10 seconds. And then stop talking about them and forget about them and never return to them ever again. Hmm. Ugh. Speaking of sort house videos though. Do you know a couple of sort house videos that I often find myself coming back to? Because they are hilarious. It was in the uh, Scottish People Twitter videos they did. It's literally just them reading out social media posts from Scottish people. My god, it's hilarious. No offence to the Scots, but um, the fact that so many of you write and type the way you talk is really endearing, to put it that way. You know? Go and watch those videos if you haven't. Very, very entertaining. Right, what have we got next? Fungal or bull bush, or whatever they're called. Right, this swamp. Let's go in here and see where this comes out. Somewhere nice and light, hopefully. Not somewhere horrible and dark. Hmm. Welcome to the Blood Kelp Zone. <laughs> It'll be somewhere dark, won't it? Or the Grand Reef, deep in one of the caves or something. I don't know. Uh, we are... I don't know where this is, um, but... We'll certainly find our way out. Which is the way out? Is it... Uh, yeah, it's this way. Oh. What is that? That's, oh, it's just a piece of a thing. Alright, well, there's blocks here, so... Light blocks even, so this must be the way out. The way to... Back into the water or whatever. Aha! Here it is. Oh, is this the area with the big boo... Big, big, big boo but oh, these things. Is it literally these things? That we're trying to find here? Common bull bush. Need a sample, right? Got it. Easy. Easy peasy lemon and squeezy. Who is making horrible noises out there? It's you. That's who it is. Oh, we've got a nice choir in the background serenading us as we uh, go about our mission. Oh, oh, oh. Don't ask me to uh, do a complete choir song. Don't ask me to sing, ladies and gentlemen, because I can't. Unless you want to have your ears traumatised. Unless you're into that shit. Not that we are uh, kink-shaming here. We don't kink-shame on the General Red Strategist channel. Unless your fetish is really, really weird. I'm just joking. Alright. Uh, right, one more thing. We've just got to get that fungal sample. Wherever that's from. Uh, this one over here. So, to make this enzyme, I'm assuming I just need to go down to the machine in the pool, right? I won't need to go to my own fabricator or anything like that. I'm hoping, anyway. Alright, this way. 
Thank god these are definitely two-way. <laughs> See, there were all these portals that I think we've seen elsewhere, which probably could have fucking been activating all this time. And I just never did. God knows where they would have led. Probably would have took me somewhere very interesting. Alright, where are we now? Ooh, ooh. Hello, hello. Oh, God, the lighting there. <laughs> Had a bit of a moment then, didn't it? Alright, he's a sort of lighting up as I go along. Ugh. What are you doing? Once again, fish in a place where fish is not meant to be. Alright, fungal sample. Ooh, we are underwater. Where would the fungal sample be? Can I, um, toggle my light? There we go, that's better. Oh, God, where the fuck are we? Where would fungal samples be, and what would they look like? That is the question. Oh, it's the mushroom area. Ah, uh, okay. It probably is like a mushroom or something, I would imagine. Imagine that's what I'm trying to find. Okay, hang on. Um, oh, that's lithium, or whatever it is. Hold up. Um, fungal sample. Fungal sample. Is that going to be one of these things, or... Tree spawn... Well, not those. Tree mushroom. Tree mushroom. Tree leech. Ugh. That fucking thing. Um, fungal sample. What would that look like? I just have to... hack at something? Did I eventually get what I need? Oh! Oh! Did I just get a fungal sample? Oh yeah, I did! There you go, see? Wait, can I, not, can I scan those then? No. Alright. Yeah, I was wondering what it was, what it looks like. Oh, modification station fragment. Why not? I don't know why I'm doing this now, considering I don't actually need it, but hey. Right, I need to locate the way back through here. If we can, uh, oh, hold on, need to exchange power source in that thing, there we go. Alright, we've got everything that we fucking need. That was relatively straightforward, which was fantastic. So let me just go down here. Why does my footsteps sound like metal, even though I'm walking on sand and rock? Back through. We have everything. Sea Emperor, I'm coming back. I'm gonna friggin' give you that enzyme, whatever it is. The hatching enzyme. Is that what it was? Enzyme 42, I think, is the thing we need to uh, sort out the infection. Ow. Sorry, Sea Emperor. I'll, I'll get back to you, provided I don't kill myself en route. I'll try my best not to. Right. Over here, please. You don't need to light that up. Wait, was it through here? Oh no, it was down there. What am I doing? Oh god, very <laughs> careful, Red. I don't know if you just fucking said that um, you need to be careful not to kill yourself on the way back. I almost go and freaking kill myself. I got a stasis rifle for any little robots that want to cause trouble. Oh, we're nearly there, though. Nearly there. <laughs> Ka-chunk. There we go. Special thing out. Now, where was the thing? Was that it down there? That might well be it. Yeah, that's the one. Got it first time. Fantastic. Fantastiche. Alright, so I'm assuming, like I say, that we can craft this here. That we don't need, you know, anything else. Insert hatching enzymes. Oh. Wait. Oh shit, so I do need to craft it myself? At my own crafting set? Well, wait, 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 wait. We've, we've literally got Gorge Harrison right out there. We can probably go and craft it at his place, right? It'll be really simple. Whoa! Hey there! How you doing? Try not to alarm me like that, thank you. God, you're making a lot of noise. Which is understandable. You are pretty big. <laughs> God, this was a fucking painted. Get out of here! Ooh, I'm on. Okay, here we go. Sorry, let me just take that detour then back to Gorge Harrison. Because he's got the fabricator and clearly I need to uh, do the fabrication at the fabricator. So I probably could have just done that immediately and not ended up wasting time having to wander back like this. Oh, Prawn. Dear sweet Prawn McCartney. If only you were here to accompany me on the... Uh, the remainder of my adventure. 
Part of me is wondering if I should build a memorial to Prawn McCartney somewhere on the surface near um, near Botany Base, perhaps. Ouch, that hurts. Ouch, let me on. Oh, gorge. It is so nice to be inside you once again. Well, inventory full. Oh my god, these things are huge. Okay, better uh, craft them straight off the bat. Uh, let's see, advanced materials, is that where it is? Hatching enzymes, here we go. So yeah, we did need to come over here just to do that. Perfect. Oh, that is fantastic. Let me just uh, take some more of this. Uh, hurt, 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 hurt. That's better. And a bit more, please. Hurt, 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 hurt. Right, perfect. Okay, let's take these enzymes back to where we need to be. Uh, hurt. Down we go. Over here. Great. Perfect. We are on the move. Also, I can take that friggin' uh, thing off there, can't I? Uh, there it is. So with the spooky music. I am so great. Say Emperor, I have your hatching enzymes. Your babies are going to hatch. I think we're just going to leave Gorge Harrison down in the lava zone. We're not even going to bring him back up. <laughs> maybe we will, maybe we won't, I don't know. Depends where I can be bothered. Maybe I'll build the Neptune rocket and then just bring Gorge Harrison up and we can have Gorge Harrison and John Lemon watching me as I just what the fuck was that? Apparently I could scan. It wasn't you by any chance, was it? No, I thought I already scanned you, didn't I? Hey, how's it going? Why the long face, eh? Hmm. Alright, here we go. Oh, I know why she's got a long face. She's been trapped in here for God knows how long. Baby's not hatching. They're going to open. Oh, I think they are. Look upon thy offspring. Ah, look at them. Aren't they sort of weirdly adorable to see him, juvenile? I'm going to scan the shit out of you, boy. Girl. It. Whatever you are. They. Them. I don't know. Sea Emperor. Juvenile. You, uh... Can you say anything about this? They were going to swim over to her. It appears that they probably are. Oh. Well, this is suddenly very adorable. Hold on, let me just position myself here so I've got oxygen. So now that I've done that... Oh! Oh no! Well... My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What oh. Be like, I Wait, don't just release... To sleep ...and never wake up. Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Oh. For a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Oh, she's straight up dying. It's actually kind of sad, not going to lie. This game is pretty good, though. What is that? Is that an enzyme? Is that something I can pick up? Oh! Touch concentrated enzyme 42. Is that curing me? Cure me of the disease? It's all over you, buddy. But don't worry. You're going to be fine. It's going to eat the bacterium off your body. It's just going to absorb through your suit. Does that mean we're good? Can I... Oh, I just got an achievement. Optimal health. Cure the infection. Am I good? Self -scan complete. I'm good. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. I think we're good. That means we can go to the platform, right? literally just out here, then we can instantly solve all the problems. Are you going to be okay? Probably not. Uh, she's going to die. Yeah, that's actually kind of sad. We've not even known this creature for very long. It was a heartwarming moment when the babbies hatched. I guess I just leave then, right? 
I see they're scattering enzymes basically everywhere. I guess in time that means the uh, infection will clear up. Well, I can't really sit here looking at you forever. Oh. Oh! Well, see, you're just swimming straight on through on an adventure. Okay. Time to deactivate the gun, I think. And then literally all we have to do is gather the resources for the rocket. As I said earlier in the series, I do have a name for the rocket, sticking with my Beatles theme. Because obviously, oh, here's you guys. You're all out here. Look at you. Try not to get eaten by the Reaper fish, okay? And I'm sure you'll be fine. Allow me to head over here into the old moon pool. And uh, I will proceed onward to find the gun controls. Uh, which should be... Oh, God. I think through that way, shouldn't they? If I'm not mistaken. Didn't really... Don't know why I'm getting my stasis rifle out. There's not actually anything in here. I don't think. Ah, here we are. Yes, we've got to go all the way up. Okay. Time to deactivate things. A lot of the way. Yeah, I... I and the thing is, the fact we managed to do this all in one episode is actually pretty astounding to me. Did I scan that? I must have done, yeah. Because, um, yeah, I think we're definitely going to have this series complete before episode 50 at this rate. It's going to be fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Over here we go, here it is. God, it's been a while since we last came here, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's interact with this. Scan me up, baby! Stab my finger. <laughs> He's like, for God's sake, let me do it. Oh. Did I do it? Oh, God, the whole place is shutting down. It's not going to self-destruct, is it? I... Suddenly don't feel safe. Let me out, let me out. Let me out of here. I don't like the howling. That is not a welcome noise. Maybe we're okay, maybe we're okay. I'm getting worried about nothing, who knows. Um, oh shit, which way was it? Okay, which way did we come from? Oh wait, is this a portal? Oh. Where did this portal go? Well, we know it's two-way. When did I activate this one? I must have activated, activated this one ages ago, mustn't I? Where does it come out? Let's see. Oh. Wait. Let's take me... Higher up? Wait, where the fuck am I? Wait. Wait. Wait a fucking minute. Is this... Oh! It's the fucking thermal plant. There's a fucking connection between here and the flipping gun platform all this time? Well, let's... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I don't think this is really where we want to be. Well, it was worth investigating. Just to see where it turned... Oh, yeah, because I must have activated it from this side, mustn't I? That's right, that's right. Because I don't think you can activate it from the gun platform side, can you? Unless there's a receptacle over there for an ion cube. But I don't recall seeing one over here. No. No, there isn't. Okay, so you can only activate it from the other side, that one. I get it, I get it. I g -g get it. Oh, so it was this way. Wait, did you scan this before? Oh, I must have done, yeah. Must be some sort of alien weapon. Alright, well, we know where we're going, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, maybe this place isn't going to self-destruct. Maybe we're okay. I don't know why I thought it would. Nowhere we've been has ever done that. But you never know. You never know what they might spring on you in this kind of game. Upwards. Ascend. At least this uh, anti-gravity elevator or whatever it is seems to be still functional. Good. Now let's get moving. We have places we want to go. People we want to see. 
things we want to do. A route back towards Botany Base is what we need to, well, set out upon, basically, ladies and gentlemen. Right, upwards. Over here. This is more like it. Uh, yeah, it was this way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes everything sort of blends together and it's easy to think uh, you've taken a wrong turn somewhere. Ah, oh, daylight. Thank God. Thank God for that. Let me go. Alright, time to head back to Botany Base. We're doing really, really well, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have a look in the mobile vehicle bay and see what we actually need for the... Um, for the rocket, basically, because that's it. That's literally the last thing we need to do. Get the rocket together. Like I say, uh, maybe... Oh, is the gun now just sort of facing down into the water? It kind of appears like it is, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. The whole thing just shut down. Fantastic. Um, right. Where am I going? Over this way. That's where I'm going. Towards where John Lemon is. Um, and hopefully we don't get fucking eaten by bloody reaper fish en route. Could you imagine if that was the end of the adventure at this point? Eaten by reaper fish. Brutally torn apart. That would suck very much. It would suck very immensely. But we'll be okay, as long as we just get back over there. Yeah, so, uh, Rocket. That is literally all we need to do. Like I say, I, I, maybe, I'll, uh, maybe I'll bring Gorge back out of the lava place, but then again, I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> I might just leave him down there for the hell of it. Gorge, the lava zone is now your new home. Please uh, make yourself comfortable down there. I mean, on the bright side in that kind of area, you don't need central heating. Because you've got all the heat in the world from the lava, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I'm anticipating for the Neptune rocket we probably need a ton of complex resources. I'm as well. I'm imagining it'll be things like plasteel ingots, enamel glass, possibly aerogel. But I don't know. Some of this stuff may not be too difficult to uh, sort out. The thing is, if need be, we can always go back to Gorge Harrison if we need any of the resources that he's got, like kyanite or anything like that, for example. Because that's always a possibility, folks. You know what I could have actually done? I could have actually taken John Lemon to the gun platform and just parked him in the moon pool. I don't know why I just didn't think to do that. That's me being me, not really thinking, but just doing, without really engaging my brain beforehand. Well, what can you do? What can you do, ladies and gentlemen? The answer to that is you can't really do anything. I'll be honest, though. Part of me is tempted to try and get Gorge Harrison out of the lava zone and bring him back up. Because I don't think we're going to be doing anything else down there, are we? So may as well go back through the... Um, back through the portal. Back to the containment facility. I mean, it'll be a long voyage, though, because obviously I have to go back through the lava zone, back out through the crater, back up through the Lost River, back out through the Grand Reef. Maybe that's something for me to do off camera? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, actually. That might be an off-camera job. It might be easier to actually do it in that way. So you know what? Screw it. I think I will do that off-camera, just to save time. But in the meantime, uh, here comes the base. There is my mobile vehicle. Oh no, that's the life pod, what am I doing? Where is my mobile vehicle bay? Is that it over there? Oh yeah, that's it. It's right there. God, the amount of power I've used in this sea glide, just getting over here. Should have taken John Lemon, but that would have been fine. Right, so what do you actually need for the rocket? Neptune Escape rocket. Oh, God, you need the launch platform first. Well, titanium ingots, computer chips and lead is actually not that difficult. I wonder if we actually have what we need for that already here, do you think? We could check and just have a look, couldn't we? Because you never know. Titanium ingots times two. One computer chip. Four lead. We 
may even be able to build that right here, right now, before the episode ends. It just depends if we have enough titanium, that's all. Because I guess you build the platform first, and then you build the rocket after that, maybe? Which would kind of make sense to me. Um, one lead. Um, creature eggs. Ah. Right, so we've got four lead. We've already got two titanium. Which isn't really enough. What do you need for the computer chips again? Can't actually remember. Um, oh, we're not going to have enough titanium, are we? That's going to be the one thing. Oh, God. Yeah. That's the one thing that we're not really going to have. All right, well. Computer chip. C -c 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 computer chip. Which needs... Oh, table coral, gold, and copper wire. Really easy. Probably make that right now, straight off the bat. If we just go out here and have a look around. I say, probably really fucking easy. Uh, table coral, table coral, table coral. Just need two of them. I didn't even actually check in my lockers. I may well have... I may well have actually just had a bit already lying around. Um, is that table coral up there? Aha! That's table coral. Perfect. Oi. Got two of those. Right, copper. Which I already may well have plenty of knocking around. But again, I'll just search for it. Search for some nodules. We can get some more titanium while we're at it. That'll be perfect. Uh, it's getting dark. Ah! Okay, that's a bit of titanium. That's, that's fine. Uh, what was this one? Silver. Didn't need, but I'll take it. Why not? Uh, nodules, 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 is, ah, plenty of titanium down here, which I will have. It's just the problem with titanium is always that, well, ingots, I should say, titanium ingots. It's just that uh, they take a lot to actually make. See, you need to gather a fair amount of uh, scrap and salvage and whatever else have you. Uh, you got any more special nodules? Ah, right, oh, yeah, this one, surely will copper, right? Copper, that's one. Gold. I've got space for two more. Lead. Didn't really need that, but okay. Uh, you got any more? Haha. <laughs> Copper, there we go. That's perfect. Alright. Back to the base. The base is schmiss over here. And we'll craft that computer chip. And then we'll be good. Okay, actually, I did need that gold, come to think of it. It was just as well I picked that up, actually. So now we just make that copper. Computer chip will be ready. We might even be able to make the titanium ingots. Possibly, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see now. We need copper wire. Do this. Computer chip. Boom. Right, got that. Let me just take that schematic off there. So uh, we've got the lead. We've got the computer chip. Let's just... Um, Start putting all this together. Like so. Titanium ingot. I think we needed two, didn't we? I've only got enough for one. Yeah. Um, I suppose... No, I won't show it on here, will it? Neptune launch platform thing? No. Unless it's... Um, I don't know. It's here. Yeah, it's definitely two titanium ingots that we need. Alright, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just, um... Friggin... Try and... Oh god, that's so bright. Let me just try and see if I can just get the outstanding titanium. Because we've already got how many? One, two, three, four. Which means we just need another six. So we might literally be able to do that this episode. And build the, um... Rocket launch platform. If we can do that, that would be fantastic. Because it means we're already on a bit of a head start with it. Sort of. You got any salvage around here? Any titanium? There's going to be some knocking around. Somewhere. Um, actually, I haven't really got much space for random nodules of resources, have I? Do you see any metal bits and bobs b bobbing around? Because I don't. Um, hello? Hello, hello, hello? I should look for stalkers. They usually um, mess around with metal salvage, don't they? Hmm. There's got to be some around here. If I just stay in the creep vine areas. 
No, that's not the creep vine area. That's getting into the fucking red seaweed plain. Uh, okay, freaking dang it, there's not... The one thing I'm g now going to need to find is probably going to take me ages to actually acquire, isn't it? Probably going to be looking for about ten bloody... Oh! Ah! Never mind. One right there. Alright, so that's up to eight. We just need two more pieces of titanium. So we can find a nodule that gives us titanium, maybe, please. Yeah, that's one. Right, just need one more. One more bit of titanium. Right. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, come here. Get some, get some food, quickly. Too slow. There we go. Should have gone to sleep, hey? Hmm? Uh, also, I'll just drink one of those while I'm at it. Um, titanium. Titanium. Titanium, please. Come on, there's got to be one more bit around somewhere that I can use. Um, one more piece. Just to wrap... In here, maybe? Oh, no, that's just a thing. Copper. We don't need that, really. Another nodule. Ah, there's one here. Titanium, there we go. Perfect, right. We now have all that we need to make this happen. Hold on. We'll make this an extra long episode. We'll, yeah, I know we are coming up probably to about somewhere in the region of an hour, but that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, here? No, not that. Actually, I'll, I'll throw um, some excess stuff away that I don't need to be carrying around with me. Look at this. Titanium. Ingots. Perfect. Alright, so... In the final few minutes of this here episode... Well, actually, let's, let's do this here in the daytime, rather than uh, at night. Just have a quick sleep. Our character's not slept in about freaking two weeks. His brain is sleep-deprived. He's probably going slightly mad. Alright, there we go. Just thought I'd, I'd do it during the day, when you can actually see, ladies and gents. Thank God I had that, um... Where is it? Um, yeah, I was about to say, thank God I have that hatch there on my bedroom. Where's my mobile vehicle bay? Let me take a look over the water. Mobile vehicle bay! Oh, there you are. Look towards the arse end of the Aurora and you'll find it. Okay. Do this. Time to build a platform. What do we got? Launch platform? Oh my god, this thing's huge. But it's totally worth it. Because now we can build the friggin' rocket, right, ladies and gentlemen? We'll get it on there. But obviously that's going to have to wait for the next episode, I think, folks. I have to wait till the next episode to build this friggin' rocket. Oh, look at the size of that. It's a big chunker. Even bigger than the old Cyclops. Which is understandable. This thing's probably fucking huge. This rocket, once we've actually got it. It'll probably be the biggest vehicle of all. Whoa. That sound. Hang on, let me have a look. If I go on board. Because there's a fucking console up there. Oh, look at this. Like, it's got the little sort of blast ducts and chambers down there. Oh. More little drones for crafting. Aha. Oh. Oh. Gantry. That's the next thing. Okay, so you have to build this in stages, do you? So we need one plasteel ingot, copper wire and lubricant. Okay, lubricant and copper wire, really easy. Plasteel ingot, I'm going to need to get a fucking more bloody uh, titanium for that. I'm going to need lithium as well. Okay, actually, you know what? It probably makes a lot of sense for me to, off camera, just go and get Gorge and try and get him back up here to the surface since he's got so many resources. So you know what? I think uh, after I finish recording this episode, I'm going to do that. I'm going to head back down to the lava zone, and I'm going to go and get Gorge. I'm going to bring him back, because why the hell not? So, hope you'll join me for the next part, ladies and gentlemen, when Gorge will be back here, and we'll be setting out on our mission to begin building the gantry. What's with that fucking music? There we are. All right, uh, Facebook and two links are down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is, of course, always appreciated, and all that jazz. Well, that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. Right, I think they'll be a little bit stronger. Probably, yeah. It's a bit stiff, actually. Yeah. Really.
damage. Here they come. Get out of it. Whoa, stop it. There we are. Oh my god, they are the door. They're all coming. They're all coming, Phil. Really cool to get to run. I can see things are about to kick off, so I've gone out of there. <laughs>